Let's begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good afternoon. Welcome to the celebration. This Mass is offered for the rippers of soul of Bob McKernan, and we also pray for Joe Kelly in this Mass. Today we call a Good Shepherd Sunday a Sunday devoted to the vocations and we hear the passage from John chapter 10 is a saying I am the Good Shepherd it calls us to reflect on how do we discern God's voice in our lives at the times we fail we ask for God's pardon and mercy you were sent to heal the country of heart Lord have mercy you came to call sinners, Christ a mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. My mighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns in the of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Then Peter stood up at the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed. But the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom we crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added. Thanks be to God. Oh, yeah. 
From the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. Whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out, when he is driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice, but they will not follow a stranger, they will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. We are on a fourth Sunday of Easter. Soon we will be celebrating the Ascension and the Pentecost. 
three weeks ago we had the Easter and we started with Divine Mercy Sunday and last week journey to Emmaus we heard about the breaking of the bread and listening to the voice of God through the scriptures today's Sunday is called a good shepherd Sunday and the Universal Church calls us to pray for the vocation to follow God's words in our lives. So how do we discern the voice of God in our lives? Before coming into parish life a few years ago, I used to be a hospital chaplain. One of the challenging areas to go in the hospital is called medical psychiatric. So sometimes I get a call and say, Father, can you talk to Jack? Jack wants to commit suicide. Then I go to this medical psychiatry ward and talk to Jack. Jack says, Father, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't have meaning in my life. And I want to die. It is not that he wants to die. You hear in him a voice telling him he is worthless. And he wants to die. And I told him, Jack, look around. You are a married man. You've got your father and mother, brothers and sisters. You're a very talented young man. Why can't you focus from inside out? Not it's not all about you and your skills and you're good for living. Why can't you think about your father and mother? Why can't you think about your brother who's got a beautiful little children? and impart your knowledge. Why can't you go out of the country and be a, an educator in school, a computer specialist? So I have to basically speak a different voice or put a different voice in him. In today's world, look at the young people. All the time what they do, your own grandchildren, what they do. They have the cell phone, they have the iPad, you have a meeting, you have a dinner, the, the stupid, the text messaging noise comes in all the time, distracting. They're not able to focus because the voice is destructive and distraction. You see, anyway, even the church, sometimes I'm preaching, mass is going on, somebody's phone is ringing, a text message is coming. People cannot wait to know what is happening. And you look at it, it's a promotion. A uh, spam caller calling you something about call warranty. We got so much into what is right now I want to know. There is no some type of patiently waiting for God to speak to us. But we have beautiful reading from the scripture says, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know I am God. Today's Gospel, John chapter 10, the three similes of figures of speech used. The bandits, the thieves, and the shepherd. Gate, and I am the good shepherd. In the time of Jesus' time, they didn't have a fancy, like we have a big Places today where farmhouses with thousands of sheep and cattle, they had a pile of rocks put in a circle fashion. That one little gate, each farmer, each shepherd brought their own sheep, they had 10 each or 11 or 15. The one gatekeeper looked after what the thieves and robbers did, didn't come to the main gate, they took the stones away, jumped over and took the sheep ultimately for single purpose to tear the sheep to drink the blood and take the meat I think they made a good kebab or a nice fry a lamb chop or whatever you call it we're not going into that the ultimate motive of this bandit was to destroy but Jesus says I am the shepherd in the figure of speech you have to come through me and you have to go out of me. The moment you don't come to me and don't go out of me, nothing is happening. You are like a sheep, a mob mentality. I go where I go. 
I, I just want to go back where I want to go back. There's nothing happening. Therefore, every time when you come on a Sunday liturgy, when you hear the word of God, when you participate in the sacrament, we are in God and out God. We come in with our failures, difficulties, struggle, and we go out of the gate fully charged, fully grazed, fully nourished. Another figure in the church we see, sometimes I laugh at the bishops and cardinals who come. Look at them in a the modern 20th century. These guys have a stick in their hand, they call it staff, and a big mitre. What it means? They're telling the congregation, I am your shepherd of the soul. I have this mitre and the stack in my hand to get you the leaves and food to nourish you. It's a symbolic. But they don't do it. They come in a nice fancy car, have a nice, you know, golden or silver chain. They are rich shepherds. But the ultimate motive of the church is they are shepherds of the soul. Therefore, they delegate the job to the priest to look after the souls of people. For every shepherd in the church, in the diocese, feeds the soul of the people, nourishes them. So, coming back, what are the voices we hear today? The voices we hear are what we want to hear, but today's gospel stresses, God is speaking to you. Do you listen? A guy went to a psychiatrist and said, Doctor, every day I hear voices telling me I am good for nothing and chastising me for whatever things happened wrong in my life. Am I possessed? The psychiatrist said, You are just married. <laughs> you are just married. It is not often to married people. Sometimes what happens is, you are what you hear the voice. I told this joke already just to make it another time, another attempt, you know. A priest in, in Chicago went for a fishing on a nice uh, winter time. He's an elderly priest. He said, let me go and slam the hole and, you know, put his line. Two hours he waited. Not a single bite. Not a single bite. So what the hell happening? He put another 10 feet aside, he slammed the hole, put the fishing line, and not a single bite. He looked up, he heard a voice, Father Bob, Father Bob, his voice, there aren't fish here. He looked up and said, Dear Lord, is that you? Again the voice said, It is not God, it is the manager of the ice ring. There are no fish in here. We want to hear the voice what we want to hear. Brothers and sisters, today, as I said in the beginning, it's difficult to discern the voice of God if you're full of ourselves. God calls us as an Easter people. Alleluia is a song. What do we hear and what do we want to change? And he gives us a beautiful figure of speech. He is the good shepherd who changes our life. Once Mother Teresa was in a United Nations meeting, a diplomat came and told Mother Teresa, Mother, teach me how to pray. I'm not a Catholic. Teach me how to pray. Mother said, Sir, can you give your hand? And took a hand and put in a frail hand and said, Whenever we thank God for all the gifts you had in your life. Just say, looking at your five fingers, this God did for me. This is what God did for me. So he went home and before going to bed he said, thank you God for the wonderful day. This is what God has done for me. He repeated and repeated. He learned to pray. Today, as we journey, the risen Christ is reminding us, what do you do for the others when God speaks to you? Good Shepherd is all about tenderness, compassion, love, and mercy.
what he wants us is to hear his voice we heard john chapter 10 verse 10 i have come so that you may have life in full may we walk with the good shepherd who gives us the grace and strength but what we need is to discern what type of voice we hear jesus is our good shepherd let's stand and profess our faith i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made, for us men and for salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who spoke and through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's pray to our Father who has given us the Jesus Shepherd to care for the church and for the whole world. The Lord is God, the Lord is the Lord is the Lord we pray to the Lord. For the people of every nation, that they live their lives with courage and find true peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For many young people to answer the call to religious vocations and respond with generous hearts to the Lord's voice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our services men and women serving all parts of the world, first responders, police, firefighters, and medical personnel. That they may enjoy God's protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly, that we and all those who are shepherd one another well, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, hospitalized, home members of our community, and for all those written in our parish petition books, that their hearts be filled with peace and hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the time in the of the resurrection, especially the Father and the Colonel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silent prayer, for the soft God needs our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Generous God, you know each by name, hear our prayers, let your Holy Spirit fill our hearts. We ask this to Christ our Lord.
casket after the murder. Thank you for bringing the gifts, my mighty God bless you, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Cleanse me from my sins. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this past through mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty of salvation. At all times so I claim your Lord, but in this time above all to Lord yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defenses never pleads a cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts be sing your praise. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore this gift we pray, by sending down the Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered well in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they took the chalice and once more giving thanks, they gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The star we fed. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the fellows worthy in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Bob McKern and Joe Kelly, whom you called from the world yourself. Grant that united in son and death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who follow in the faith in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them light of your face of mercy in us all. We pray that blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, as spouse, blessed apostles, St. Francis, St. Claire, St. Anthony, St. Peter and Paul, John of the Cross and Teresa, and Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who preach you throughout the ages, may it to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. we journey through the Easter season, we will listen to a good shepherd and discern God's voice and allies. And say, this command from a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us all. We pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days. And by help of your mercy, we will be obviously free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles' peace. I love you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins with the faith of your church and gracious to grant the peace and the unity according to your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
Not only say the word, my soul shall be. The body of the cross keep me safe for eternal life.
of Mother Teresa who taught the words of Jesus to the diplomat you did this for me reveals to us the risen Christ whose love and peace shown in Good Shepherd is present to us in every moment of our lives John the Evangelist presents on this fourth Sunday of the Easter with the image of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in contemplating this page of the Gospel, we can understand the kind of relationship that Jesus had with his disciples. A relationship based on tenderness, love, mutual knowledge, and the promise of an immeasurable gift. Jesus said, They have come to give life a life in abundance. May we learn to discern the voice of God in our lives. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures. The sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. A blessed evening and a blessed Sunday. Amen.